box plow, pushers, loader plows. People refer to them by different names. But one thing the snow and landscape professional understands is there is no better, faster way to move large amounts of snow than using one of these designs. When set up properly, Boss BH and LDR box plows offer features and benefits that set them apart from the competition. But proper setup is extremely important, which is why we've put together this short, informative video explaining the setup and proper operation of the Boss BH and LDR box plows. The first step in doing this is to drive your equipment into the plow slowly. Level the bucket and adjust the bucket height as necessary for attachment. Pull into the plow until the bucket's forward leading edge makes contact with the bottom of the fork pocket. Put the vehicle in park and engage a parking brake before exiting the driver's seat. Use at least a 3 8 P70 transport chain and loop it through the hole in the hitch fork and bucket mounting tab or clevis. Then use ratcheting binder to secure the loose ends of the chain. Do not cross the chains as the slip hitch assembly will bind. Tabs for mounting chain should be located in such a manner that the chain is level or angling slightly downward when the plow is attached. The tabs should also be located in line with the hitch forks. Once the plow is connected to the loader, there are a few important tips the operator must keep in mind so that the box plow scrapes as designed. If the cutting edges are new, it's a good idea to drop the plow and drag the edge backwards for approximately 100 yards. This will wear down the sharp edge and minimize chatter and skipping. Remember to re-inspect and re-tighten the binder chains after doing this as they may have loosened. When you begin plowing, rotate the plow back as far as possible while still keeping the cutting edge in contact with the ground. As the edge begins to wear, it will be necessary to rotate the blade forward. After the cutting edge wears to a point, rotating it forward will no longer allow the cutting edge to scrape. At this point, it will be necessary to adjust the skid shoes on the wings up. Then you start with the plow rotated back again. This technique will prolong the wear life of the cutting edges and minimize chatter. Your box plow manual also comes with great tips and instructions on mounting, removal procedures, and maintenance. You can find these manuals on our website, bossplow.com, under technical service. As always, if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us on our tech support line. Thanks for watching and happy plowing.